Today's movement has 129 persons on board, but since the beginning of the year we have facilitated the return of over 2,500 people already. I didn't get... uh -huh. Okay, so what is going to happen now, uh, the refugees are going to go through the immigration and they are going to board the flight. We are uh, facilitated in this by UNMIL, the UN mission in Liberia. They have provided the aircraft for this voluntary repatriation movement. Upon arrival to Monrovia, UNHCR Monrovia and the government of Liberia are going to receive the refugees, they are going to provide the assistance that is available for those that are returning and they are going to uh, see that they will travel to their places of origin in Liberia and that is where the process of reintegration will start. Okay, there are still uh, some people that are uh, waiting for their flights to return to Liberia, but there is also a sizable number of Liberian refugees that have expressed their willingness to remain in Ghana. And uh, Ghana government is looking at this possibility for local integration of the Liberian refugees, and we are also supporting that decision to be made. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm very much happy returning home. You know, it's been a, uh, a lot of opportunity that I've gotten in Ghana here. I was in uh, GSS2 when I came to Ghana and I completed my SS here and I did my nursing study. I completed it and I did a lot of courses. I'm very much happy about the educational opportunity in Ghana here and freedom of speech, freedom of movement. So I'm very much happy. Ghana, I can say, is the number one peaceful country in Africa, let me say. Yeah, I'm very proud of being in Ghana here as a refugee and returning home now because I've achieved a lot here. 
that I'm going to implement to be able to sustain my family. So I'm very much happy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I feel very happy and enthused that I'm going back home after so many years in Ghana. You know, I haven't seen my country for a very long time, and I thank UN for helping us go back home. Well, I expect to like continue my studies because I'm, I mean, my I'm a final year student, and I didn't finish. So when I get home, I'll complete. Uh, this, 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 this is an ongoing exercise, a voluntary repatriatory exercise for Liberian refugees that have opted to go back home. And this is just one of the phases they have had of like 2,416 already that have left. Okay? And as you can see, it is a little bit sad, but it's a happy, it's a happy moment because a lot of them are finally going back home to contribute towards the society. Okay? But we're so excited that uh, the embassy is here to make sure that we are represented, represent the interests of our government. Okay? Um, Ghana have really, really done exceptionally well. We are highly impressed. We applaud your effort. 20 years of hospitality is no small joke. You know, this is serious. It's a very commendable. So we personally want to thank the GRB, the Ghanaian government, and, and in collaboration with the UNACR for an excellent work done so far. And our citizens are leaving. They are going back home. There will be a lot of opportunities back home that they can make use of and make good use of themselves. Okay? So, in short, it's an exciting time right now. You know, we're happy that they're all looking good and good health, and they are going back home to be a part of our society. You know, some of them wish to stay, which of course that's going to happen once there is an effective legislation from your parliament that will enable them to legalize themselves in Ghana. But we will wish that this process is done sooner than later because we know this is a crucial year and we have election here so um, a lot of them have already settled here they have their families they're working they're established and they wish to legalize their stay so we are we are hoping that this is done very soon and they, they there will be some sort of consideration upon those that have conducted themselves actually perfectly here you know It's, it's, it's historic. It's historic because it, it falls on the right time. You know, you have War Refugee Day and then you have refugees going back home, you know, in good spirit, in good mood, in good health as well. So that makes it, this, this, this actually makes it a very successful day. You know, it, 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 War Refugee Day. It's always been symbolic around the world, you know. A lot of countries have opened up their arms to, to people from other countries that sought refuge. And in this case, where we have a lot of our citizens going back home on this day makes it historical, you know. And, and we are very, very happy to be a part of it. History. You're welcome.
I'm happy. I'm going back to my country. My country is free, so I have to go back. I'm going to say my business and send my children to school. It was wonderful. But when Ghana people say we should go, so I forced to go. I can't stay here. I will stay because I love Ghana. Okay.